Hello, hi, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel. The season change is going to bring a lot of volatility. You're probably already feeling it. So are you feeling some disruption in your night? Like your sleep is being disrupted, you're waking up. Are you feeling a lot of sort of head buzzing? The season change is um, not here yet when I'm recording this, but I want to let you know it always starts ahead of time for people who are in their twin flame journey. So what are some of the things that you should focus on? One should be family. Another one should be yourself and your physical health. Because when it comes to family, you sometimes are dredging up some of those ancestral biological things. Now, this is how I describe it. If you're going to be together with your twin, are you just going to spend your time like taking care of each other because you're sick? Like, oh, wait, hang on. Or dealing with like their addictive stuff that decides to pop out from their family or maybe some other dysfunctional stuff. Like they have no sense of money whatsoever and you're always the mama who's shelling it out, right? You work like a dog and they cannot rub two sticks together. What is that about? Change. Okay, so in order for things to change and in order for you to send the signals of change doo -doo -doo -doo, over to your other half, it has to happen through your brand new life body. That is my expertise. That is how we're able to get rid of these chronic things, these chronic conditions that are really karma. Chronic and karma maybe should be interchangeable at times, you know, like, is it chronic? No, it's karmic. And we should begin addressing it from several levels, okay? Your cellular level, your day in and day out life level, your nighttime level, because you're going to get woken up. You know it by now. The wake ups are happening. You cannot roll over and go to sleep on this stuff. It's time to roll up your sleeves and start getting busy with what your twin flame journey and ascension is really taking right now. And there's a thing to know about this. I've made it easy. Yes, I have. I have the instructions. When people follow the instructions, they have really amazing experiences. And those experiences are personal because I can't pretend to know, you know, everything that everybody has. What I do is I show them how to do the unraveling and the integration. And when they follow the instructions, they start getting results. That is the result of doing the twin flame reconnection work. Now, how does it happen that people come together? Well, a lot of people, if you kind of look at the scope of your entire, you know, like, what are we healing? We've got all this ancestral stuff, and then we've got biological stuff that goes way back. And then we've got all our past life stuff and karma. You got to like, you know, it, it stretches back. Right now is a time where you can go, okay, it's being squished. It's squeezing you. There's a time compression. It seems like time is accelerating. We're already in March and people are going, wait a minute, how is this? Like, we've got one quarter of the year is already going to be over, over, game over, man. No, what you have to do is we make this personal, but we do it in a way where we are addressing it. And when you do it through your twin flame body, it gets easier. Okay. I'm not going to say everything is easy. Okay. Because it's like, you know, going along and then getting to a part of the road where it's kind of gravelly. Yeah. You slow down. Yeah. You have to address some things, but then you can pick up some pace. So we talk about that in my classes, in my webinars. How would you do this? How would you really, you know, what are the things you should pace? Okay. Things, other things you should pay attention to is your diet. Okay. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, we're entering into a growth season. And in order for internal growth, you should actually eat lighter. Okay. There's a lot of 
ancient religions that would teach about like, hey, you know, do a fast. Doing a fast doesn't mean always refraining from things. It means an internal cleanse, an internal cleanse, okay? So what feels like it needs cleansing on you? It could be one organ. It could be your respiratory system, okay? I'll give you an example. Let's say your respiratory system, you feel kind of congested, you feel a little phlegmy, right? These are gross things to talk about, but it's real, okay? Maybe you do some other stuff, like you inhale things like smoking or something like that, and there's something nagging at you on the inside saying, maybe I need to slow down with this, but I really don't know how to entirely just do it, quit, pull the plug. I don't know. Well, you start by slowing down if you don't know. Okay, those are symptoms and those are signals which are saying, dun, 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 slow down, okay, drop it off, quit, cut it down, something. What if you have allergies and you feel like you're in a histamine overload, okay? You're phlegmy and like the least little thing, like some of the ones lately, spicy food, spicy Ooh, spicy is good. A lot of people love spicy. But guess what? When it starts going down, it doesn't love their body. How do you know? You start getting phlegmy, your nose runs, you are like, oh, it's clearing my sinuses, except when it isn't. Now, you might say, well, these are physical things. How does this relate to my light body? Ah, let me catch you there. Number one, if you're together with your twin flame, shouldn't the world be your oyster? Shouldn't you be able to travel at will? Shouldn't you be able to create? Should one of you just get sick in the, you know, one of you staying in a hotel, the other one isn't, or, you know, you want to create this for yourself, right? That's where your light body comes in. That's where your light body comes in and bridges those things. This is, this is the thing that we is talked about in the medical community about, hey, regrowth, growth, regenerative. It doesn't happen without your light body. It doesn't happen without the desire to get better. And sometimes that's all it takes. So when I say in love, I mean enveloped in that bubble of your light body. Not just like, oh, I got a crush on that person over there. That doesn't cut it for your soul. We need to get you deeper, better, healthier, passionate, okay? So if you're there with me, check out the links below. Join us. Join us on the season change. Like, how are we going to do this? What should we address? I take you there. I get you there. I elevate you it becomes very passionate for you. And passionate, passion should be experienced in multiple levels of your life, not just like kissy kissy. I'm gonna tell you this right now, how many of the world's ills could we just fix by kissing if we were together? That's sort of a running uh, thing, right? Well, let's get on with it. That's what I say. Let's get started. Let's get this party started for the springtime. And if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, it's fall. You have similar changes, but you're looking at it from a different angle. So we are here to help, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.